Okay, kiddo. So this next part that I'm going to show you is how to take uh, those chapter one, section one, both typed and handwritten Cornell notes um, that I um, that I created for you, and um, show you how to put those into your um, your e binder or your e notebook. Okay. Don't get too caught up on um, whether it says e binder or e notebook um, for right now. Again, that just depends on whether I see you for um, the e binder is if I see you for both language arts and social studies. The e notebook is if I just see you for social studies. Okay. Um, so what I want to show you right now is that this is my sample student. This is Jaime. Okay, and this is his um, e notebook as it stands right now. Okay, you can see he's got his information right there. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is um, come up here to where it says social studies. Okay, and we're going to come to chapter one, um, archaeology and early man. Now, this is where we left this last week. Okay, we had the chapter one essential question. What was life like before civilizations and how do we know? We added in those dividers and a section header, okay? Um, this next step that we're gonna go to is, um, again, adding in both my typed and my handwritten notes. What I do wanna tell you ahead of time is that adding in the typed notes is a very easy process. Um, to, uh, include, uh, then um, uploading the handwritten notes can be a little finicky. Um, what I want you to do is practice patience, practice um, grit and growth mindset. Um, and remember that um, everything that we put into the e-binder um, can always be taken out if it's not um, uploaded in the order that you want. Um, and I want to remind you that I'm always available um, to help you get things organized in your e-binder, okay? So even if when you get to this point with the handwritten notes, you're um, kind of struggling to get things uploaded, um, I will be here to to help you, okay? So let's first go to the easy part, okay? Uploading the typed Cornell notes. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click this um, plus sign right here, and you're going to select that um, you want to add something from your drive, okay? At this point, you'll select um, sixth grade social studies, okay? And you'll see that there's that um, mini folder, the chapter one, section one, so go ahead and click that. OK, um, at that point, you're going to find those type notes. OK, highlight that tile and you're going to select insert. OK, and voila, there they are. What we're going to do is we're going to drag this down um, to the bottom just of this page right here. OK, perfect. Not too bad. OK, and so now um, those notes are um, there and uh, in safekeeping. OK. All right, the part that um, might give us a little bit, just a small bit of trouble. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We are actually going to get rid of this box. We will come back to it, I promise you, with all my heart and soul. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is come over here, and um, I want you to notice where it says here at the bottom, it says image carousel. Go ahead and click that, and we're going to insert images. Okay, so you're going to um, click add image. Okay, and you're going to go to select image. Okay, I'm going to go to my drive and I'm going to go to sixth grade social studies and chapter one, section one. Okay, now um, it's going to show up with these Cornell notes. Okay, um, and you're going to want to select all five tiles so that they all become like blue like that. Okay, and you'll go to insert. Now, this is the part that um, just frustrates me a little bit because sometimes these um, pictures on this screen come up out of order. Okay, so like I know that this is page number one of the notes. I know that this is page two. Okay, but I, I can tell right here, this is, I can see looking back and ahead. So I know that this one is out of order. So I'm gonna drag this one right over here Okay, and I know that these two are actually out of order as well. Okay, so you'll just want to kind of like look at that thumbnail image and compare them um, maybe to the to the headings in the book. Um, I think that's kind of the easiest way to do it um, and make sure that you've got them in order from start to finish down here. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is click insert. Okay, and now the handwritten notes are right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this puppy up here. 
and this one is going to land right there. Okay. Now um, you're not. It's still at this point because you haven't published it yet. You um, you can't see um, all of the different notes at this point, and that is totally totally fine. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is add a text box right here, which looks kind of weird. It's going to pop up here, but you're going to drag this down under the carousel like so. OK, you're going to do click to edit text. OK, and we're going to change this again to a heading. OK, and we're going to talk, call this um, Mrs. Tez's, um hand written Cornell notes. Okay, we'll center that. Okay, and what we want to do right here is we want to um, uh, just kind of resize this just a bit so that um, so that this uh, handwritten notes, uh, typed Cornell notes, and handwritten notes um, are in alignment with one another. Okay. At this point, um, you should be, and I'm even going to try to just do it a little bit more. There we go. Okay. Uh, the next thing that you want to do at this point is um, go ahead and come up here and you want to click publish. Okay, this is like the most important step. Um, you have to, have to, have to publish your work. It's going to say, um, give you a draft of what things looked like before, or I'm sorry, of what um, things looked like before and your new draft of, um, it's asking you, is this what you want to publish? And you want to say yes. So go ahead and click publish. Great. OK, so now if you were to look at the um, if you were to click preview, um, this is what your site would look like. You've got your handwritten or I'm sorry, you've got your typed notes here on the left. And then over here on the right, you can scroll through the different pictures within your um, notes. OK, again, I think the uploading the um, handwritten notes is kind of the, the most challenging part. Um, but again, I want to remind you um, that I am here for you um, and that I will help you get through this process.